For a lot of people, Starfield is the game concept they've been waiting for for a long time. A large open space game where you explore various planets, an RPG with a lot of choice, elements of space opera, sci-fi, and a ton of exciting things to do and explore. Regardless of whether or not Starfield was able to achieve everything it set out to do, it left a lot of us wanting more. Luckily, it's not the only massive sci-fi RPG out there. There are a good amount of options, some of which have been out there for a very long time. Let's take a look at a few of those games now. There aren't a lot of people in the gaming space who haven't heard about Mass Effect. It's a very famous series that a lot of people love, but for those who haven't played it yet, there isn't a better time than now. It's been completely remastered for modern consoles and PC. It's everything you want from a sci-fi RPG. A massive three-part plot that takes place over multiple games, characters you love and characters you hate, with the ability to romance many of them. And above all, the ability to explore many new worlds with all sorts of aliens and mysteries. Gameplay includes a third-person shooter style of combat combined with RPG elements. There are multiple different combat styles, so if you want to be a gunslinger or a space wizard, you can feel free to do either, or both. For many people, Knights of the Old Republic is where their love for sci-fi games first started. Similar to Mass Effect, it has a beautiful story that plays out with many choices to make and many characters to meet. It's the prototype of what this genre strives to be, and is still very well worth playing to this day, all while allowing you to explore the Star Wars universe. There are two games in the series and in an MMORPG that uses many of the elements of those two games. The original two games play out in a similar way to the Dragon Age series, real time with pause combat that flows very nicely. Easily one of the best role playing experiences if you've ever wanted to be a Jedi or get drawn toward the dark side. Right now it's available on Steam and GOG. Cyberpunk 2077 is one of the most cinematic game experiences you'll ever have. It explores a lot of interesting themes like corporate intrigue and the decay of society, and it has some fairly expansive systems behind it that make it a lot of fun to play. The open world nature of the game is uplifted by the inhabitants of Night City, all of them out to make a name for themselves. You'll have to weave your way through many interesting characters on your way to glory. Hidden in that world are some very beautiful stories that will make you consider your actions. It has a little bit of everything. Action, intrigue, romance, and all of it is a lot of fun to explore. It released in a rough state back in 2020, but has since turned all of that around and even released an expansion with actor Idris Elba as one of the companion characters. You can find Cyberpunk on PS5, Xbox Series X, Steam, and GOG. Spaceborne 2 is an anomaly within the game industry. The entire game is built by one person, and as such has a lot of bugs, but anyone playing Bethesda games is no stranger to that. That being said, the game is hugely expansive. It boasts many thousands of planets with climate, varied structures, cities, villages, caves, and more to explore. And you can create your own faction within that universe. It has diplomacy, military space stations to build, and all sorts of things to manage. And on a smaller scale, you can build your crew on your spaceship the way you want to. It may have a bit of jank, but it also has a, a lot of heart. You can buy it now on in early access on Steam, where it still is being updated very frequently. Outer Wilds hits on some of the aspects of Starfield that were a bit more neglected. Exploration that has meaning behind it planets with hugely varied formations, and a trail of secrets that leads you to each one. If you're hoping Starfield would have handcrafted space exploration, this is where you'll get that experience. The hook for this game is a time loop mechanic which resets the universe every 22 minutes, which means you have to spend your time wisely to discover how each planet changes with only a certain amount of time to do it. If you enjoy non-linear storytelling, you'll love Outer Wilds. It originally released in 2019, and it's available on all current consoles, Steam, and GOG. If you spent most of your time jumping from planet to planet, discovering new forms of life in Starfield, then you're exactly the kind of person that will enjoy No Man's Sky. With a basically limitless amount of planets to explore, and procedurally generated creatures, there are plenty of things to keep you occupied. The game focuses a lot on the process of upgrading your spaceship and your equipment, a similar loop to many survival crafting games. 
But what makes it unique is the ability to hop from planet to planet, coming out of space through a planet's atmosphere, and seamlessly flying down to the planet is an experience I'd love to see in many more games. It released all the way back in 2016, and has been given a massive run of updates that has completely changed the way the game plays. You can play it on all current game consoles, Steam, and GOG. Outer Worlds is Obsidian's take on the Fallout formula, but taken into a sci-fi universe riddled with mega corporations. It's much more narrow in scope than Starfield, but it has a similar focus on choice and consequence. If you enjoyed the story aspects of Starfield, but want something more focused that will take less time to get through, you might enjoy Outer Worlds. You can get the game on all current consoles, Steam, GOG, and Epic Games Store.